All right, big day of organizing and sending. So, what is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. That's what we're claiming. That's what Sammy Gl Jay's claiming it. Let's see what you're claiming, come on. Make a claim. Uh oh, just got my socks wet. That's why you should have slippers on, Bonnie. And you're going to change your socks. These are clothes. You just put them on there, is it? Fresh and cup of coffee. Wet? Uh -oh. Not that couch. So we got this shelf from the house that we got all the scrap from. It's still a little bit wet. But we're going to organize it into two shelves in the room over there. Two shelves of stuff that people are interested in. Or maybe one shelf of the stuff that's sold. One that people are interested in. And then the two bottom ones are just going to be the other stuff. And we're going to be moving it up as people email us about it. We got about 35 different emails when I woke up today. And last night I answered about five of different items. Some lists of items so I think because we're so fortunate to have a good following on YouTube that we can sell the vast majority of the stuff we got from that toy lot just on just this forum just on YouTube uh, a lot of people don't realize that that's possible because they don't first of all try it um, I haven't seen very many YouTubers that offer their items to their YouTube following before they put it on eBay because you probably can get more on eBay but why pinch all that, that little bit of money for so much extra work um, it's much easier just to say here's what we have if anyone wants it email us and then work out a deal on email and then just send it over no fees no nothing little bit of PayPal fees but that's it so nice shelf I'm gonna grab uh, a couple paper towels or another rag don't 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 I know, I know, I know. Dolly, you never show me nothing but kindness. She would say, I know how sad you get. Some days I still get that way, but it gets better. It gets better. It gets better. Dude, didn't even under totally underestimated how heavy it would be to clean out each one of these little things. So I had to put a cloth in each one of these and go like that all the way down. But it's pretty dry now. But just leave it outside for a bit while we send these packages. So we sent out these are two items. So we are moving this the product along here. Definitely we've been hoarding more than we've been selling. That's a guarantee. But we're gonna stop that trend and try and liquidate most of the stuff we got here. Try and sell it, move it, give it away. I was thinking even getting crazy like donating some of the toys that we have, you know, once we make our money back to the Boys and Girls Club of Atlantic City, potentially. So maybe people that wouldn't have Christmas presents could get something. I'm not really sure how it works yet, but I'm gonna look into it for sure. And there's a lot of electronics. We were thinking about going to the pawn shop, but I don't personally really like how pawn shops work and neither does Sammy. It's kind of like feeding off of people's you know, downfalls in life. So I don't know how that's gonna work. I'd rather just sell all the, if I could find a buyer for just bulk electronics and just move them all to one person, that would be cool. I'm actually gonna look up one of them, see how much it would actually be worth. But yeah, just another day living the dream. So, got so many things on my mind, so many things going on. But this is the part of running, running a business especially with multi-facet, multi-streams of income and trying to juggle a thousand different things. So it's stressful, but it's awesome at the same time. All right, so we just went through this whole stack looking for the, what is it? 
RT dude, uh, C3PO deck card, not in here. <laughs> also, the Princess Leia one that's worth money, not in here. Sold this for 15 bucks. So we're gonna pack that up. And this is what we're looking at. Shelves of all this gear, trying to get organized and looking stuff up and just answering emails still. Haven't gotten through all of them, but we're gonna pack this up. Gotta find it on here though. Blaine. So this Resident Evil book is going to Mississippi for the dream. All right, we're off to the bank, the post office. We have five packages going out and about 20 other ones probably in the mix. So, yeah, without even getting crazy, we sold more than what we spent on the lot and gave people great deals, I claim. Like just selling the stuff for cheaper. I, when I look it up, I look it up and then I price it and sell it for cheaper than I can find it online because that's the way to move it. So, whew, it's actually really hot out. 66 degrees, sunny, and just another beautiful day. But we are going to bank, post office, feed my mom's cats because she's in Pennsylvania, and then get some scrap from Linwood, I think. That's the plan as of right now. Today, right here in the couple minutes from our house, someone left this stuff for us. Ooh, really heavy. It's like a mid century house, though. Totally mid century. We got a spicy burrito in here. Spicy burrito. For you. <laughs> Don't want to hit this a little snack. Scrap dreams. Let that catch on there. And I got this. What kind of metal is it? This is aluminum. Yeah. So this is a heavy piece of aluminum. And I know. So don't think <laughs> you know because I said it. That's not true. <laughs> I asked you in a questionable way and you gave a look. So I knew. Bro, you got a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> this is heavy. Alright. You got it. Bust out, pop, pop is in there. Yeah. This is a cherry tree. Yeah. Tree. It's a big cherry tree, right? Yeah, this is fucking wild. I can't see it. This is a Mm-hmm. We got greenhouse, pool. Dude, I'd be chilling out here. You guys got here though, bro? Yeah, I'm sure they get their yard straight. It's over there. <laughs> That's an EHT claim, right? Yeah, probably. The boy. Boy, boy, right? Boy, boy. God. <laughs> Yo, what's happening, boss? What's up? <laughs> Little shed job. Yeah. <laughs> this is nice out here. Oh yeah. How are the how are the mosquitoes in here in the summer? Uh, they're a little they're a little rough, but no Harley, right? Yeah. <laughs> Driveway. He he puts that back there. He gets through there. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We had this one. Uh, I built a duck blind out in the marsh for him, and uh, we got stuck on the way back when the tide went down. <laughs> yeah. And that's uh that's his stepfather's house, yeah, that the so it's nice he's uh you know heavy
You got it? You're good. Got your Land's End bag? Yeah, I got this from a clean out, but got these from where? Um, that house sale, right? The estate sale. Either right. way, we're going to cut this thing up because it was too crazy to take apart. Um, these scrap claims get really, really, really gnarly. Like. Got your snap on glasses? Yeah, I found those. Where did we get those? Clean out. Clean out, snap on glasses. These from Tom Lombard. You need to eat something. And. You know, someone said in the comments before, the guy that, the local scrapper in the neighborhood is the guy that has all the connections. And boy, is that coming true. We meet a new person every day. That's so legendary. <laughs> we came back. <laughs> I was wondering why you didn't just bring a trailer back here to put it in. But now I'm realizing there's no gate big enough. Well, not only, well, there's a gate there, but you know what, the, uh, the yard is so soft it over there. Yeah, man. And ruin your truck, I, it, yeah. Well, I just wouldn't, uh, that house is for sale and oh, I don't wanna, okay. yeah. I don't wanna drive across it, you know? I got ya. Yeah, I, uh, it would be nice. And, and he's got an ATV in there and it just- You would wreck the yard. Yeah, it would. Saying, and it just it, rained yeah. for two days. Exactly, exactly. All right, brother, you ready? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why I brought this one. I just trash picked most of mine, and then they work for like a day. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> I have one. I have one behind my shed that uh, it's it's like that. I kind of I rigged up the wheel, then I put a hole in the tire. I went and got a tube, and it was the wrong tube, so it's just sitting there. <laughs> I trash picked one that had one of those. You know, it's just like you didn't get yelled at by the light. Yeah, it is. That's true. Right. Want to go right to the truck? Yeah. So what do you do? Bring half of it over to your house first? Yeah, because I was just going to put it out front. You know, if I put it out front uh, last night, the strappers would have taken it to yeah, the you know, easily. Yeah. Hey, you have hard. And it was like, work smart. I got a, a big job next door, and I'll have some. I'll have some good stuff for you too. Uh, next. Door. All kinds of different shit. Uh huh. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying about homeowners, man. I'm dealing with dealing with a lady over here. All right, so we have a package from our friend Joe Beck. Give us a lot of goodies. Ooh, another oh, mouse. Man. Look, a mouse for the computer. Mm -hmm. We need it for the other one. Nope. Oh shit, a nice one. That's Let's what I'm pop saying. that one out, boys. Sammy J and Tuck. Here are some things I have and don't use. Keep, give, or sell. Take care, Jeff. What is it? Wow. It's, the Irish. wow. it's Irish, right? Yeah. It's a gold ring. Is it real gold? Is 14K. Let me see. My eyes. I can't see. Put it back in its special box. It's gold. It's very cool. It's definitely real gold. It's a keeper, though. It's a keep lifer. Mm. Very cool rings. Oh man, I know my finger's too small for it. Wait. Huh? Mm. Yeah, These ones maybe. make. Yeah, this one. Be fall Thumb off. ring. I wear it today. I'm just scared it would fall off. I use these hair ties. Oh my god. This is Keep Life. Give me this mouse. I though. do sell this. So she didn't pretty. say you have to sell it. I use this mouse now. I love these. That's so weird. I was just thinking I wanted a necklace like this. I use this box it's today, though. Sorry. It's very cool. This one's probably similar. I love 
like this a lot. Thank you very much. I'll put these in a special spot. These are cool. I like these. I Feathers, keep... Feathers, right? Mm-hmm. Very cool. And then this. Pretty. What's the claim? Thank you very much, Joe. These are very cool gifts. Are you opening your mouse, Bunny? Yeah, I don't know what the disc is for. I guess. I hope it just works in a Mac like that easily. I mean, I'm sure it does. I got my pretty bracelet on, too. Bracelets. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's a dream come true. What's the five click thing? Got your special mouse? Yeah. Luxury. So this guy's getting some of these stereo systems to try and sell at the flea market. I'm just giving them to him because he's a legend and I was trying to clean out this place. Sony. Are you taking that VCR too? Yeah, this is a five disc player if you want it. Old school. Old school. How much do you think you'll make off these dreams? Yeah, 50, 60 bucks maybe. From all of them, right? Yeah. It's not bad though. Yeah, as long as they enjoy them. They're gonna, they're gonna love it. This is a speaker, isn't it? No. What is this thing? Big Boom 10 amplifier. Yeah, I guess it is. I didn't pick these. These are, these are these your picked, treasures. These picked me. These are your treasures, man. That's true. But I'm about to go to the grocery store, though. All right. Just showing you guys that piece of exercise equipment. We ended up just cutting it into four pieces. And it literally sliced through it like butter. But here it is in the trailer. Uh, totally broken down. So... Helped that guy out, got some scrap out of it, made a new connect, and he said he's got tons of work and scrap and a sink with granite and all this stuff that he wants to give us from jobs. So who knows? Um, it's awesome just to create connections, even if it's only for like $30 worth of scrap. Uh, it was well worth it going out today to there. Also moved. All this was stacked up to like here with VCRs and DVD players and stereos. Probably worth a mint to someone, but gave them to the boy, Dakota. And he's going to take them over to the Berlin Flea this weekend when he goes. He's got a bunch of other stuff to take. It's just becoming a full-on problem. Uh, so we're just moving stuff along, trying to... That kind of stuff's hard to sell for me. I don't know if other people have the same problem, but... Better off giving it to a local kid who, you know, moved here recently and he's going to try and make some money off of it. Uh, that's pretty cool, I think. I have these Night Jammer thing. This was made in Hong Kong. Actually, Malaysia. My bad. This is actually a Randix. So you put like a, a cassette tape in here. And that has speakers with it too. Right there, right there. That thing is pretty badass, actually. I'm about to test this out. Let's see if we can get this thing working. So how is this drain? This thing's on. Let's see this. Are we playing? What's going on here? Should be playing it. What do we got here? Oh no! No! Oh no! Not really sure how that happened, but let's see this again. Works. Talking heads. Thing's pretty cool. This is a night jammer radio. I don't want this. You should put like. Uh, what in the side there? Some kind of a T 
tape or something. Sony. Seat and air. We got this thing, which is just straight up magical, if I do say so myself. This is a solid state VHS, VHS movie camera. No battery though, this battery doesn't go to it. Don't know what happened to the battery. Could be in this box though. But this thing's cool too, I thought. I thought it was. SM2 Recoton. So we got all this stuff just for taking the scrap from that house. After we bought the stuff from the lady. Got all this stuff for free. So that was pretty cool, but it's just cool to show some of the stuff that we got sitting around here. Um, I offered this stuff to him too. He didn't seem to be interested in the smaller radios, which I think are easier to sell probably. We have some license plates here too. New York, New Jersey, another New York. This is like a fan for a computer, but this thing was in the scrap pile too, which I thought was kind of cool. Made in Indonesia. Pretty cool. Also, it's got hordes of hordes. This is a DVD player. Got this Millennium Countdown Clock 2000. So it's pretty old there. But yeah, just wanted to show some of the stuff we got sitting around here. Um, these are, these I got from the church sale. Old goggles. Just thought they were cool. They were pretty much just free. Because this little guy. This guy is what's 33 bucks. Made in Israel. But put it in with that stuff. The social network. Got this painting too. I think I showed it before, but this is a dream. Four bucks paid for that. These I got for Sammy to watch. Maybe when we're away or doing something. And she doesn't have like computer access. So gonna go to sleep pretty soon. We're making dinner, but just wanted to show a little bit of what we got going on. I think it's cool if you can to just give back to other people too sometimes. Like if that guy can make you know, 10, 15 off of each of those at the uh, flea market. That's cool, because I was on the verge of just giving them away for free or throwing them out. But 